Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of Spider-Man No Way Home. Thwip. Spider-Man No Way Home is an action-adventure fantasy from director John Watts and Marvel Studios. Part three of what is currently the Spidey Home trilogy, the film stars Tom Holland, Zendaya, Benedict Cumberbatch, Jacob Batalon, John Favreau, and Marissa Tomei. With Spider-Man's identity now revealed, Peter asks Doctor Strange for help. When a spell goes wrong, dangerous foes from other worlds start to appear, forcing Peter to discover what it truly means to be Spider-Man. So this was a hugely anticipated movie for both the MCU crowd and me personally. And it's going to be really hard to talk about this movie without spoiling things. So here's your caveat. I do intend this to be a relatively spoiler-free review, but I will be touching on characters and story beats that we've seen in the trailers already. I won't touch on anything that has not been in the trailers. But if you haven't seen the trailers and you want to go in totally cold, I'd recommend maybe putting this video on your watch later list. Go see the movie. Hopefully it'll come back later. But that's your sort of mild spoiler warning. I'm a really big fan of Tom Holland in this role. I thought Far From Home was pretty good. I really liked Homecoming. I'm not sure yet if I would say I prefer this one to Homecoming, but it's a tight race. I thought this movie was fantastic. Speaking of Tom Holland, I do think this is his best work as Peter Parker. His character really kind of grows up in this movie and Tom Holland is totally up to the task. I also thought his chemistry with Jacob Batalon and Zendaya has never been better. And I liked Zendaya in the last two. I thought she was great in this one. Now, as we know, we get villains from the Raimi trilogy and the Mark Webb franchise. This is where I get into mild spoilers, but again, nothing that you haven't seen in the trailers. We get Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin. We get Alfred Molina as Doc Ock. J.B. Fox as Electro. Thomas Hayden Church as Sandman. Reese Efans as the Lizard. And I like them all in here. I will say that the main focus is kind of put on Doc Ock and Green Goblin. That worked for me. Alfred Molina hasn't missed a step. And I thought Willem Dafoe was straight up awesome in this. Michael Giacchino's score is also the best of the trilogy for me. And this is a really emotional film. I got teary on a couple of occasions. And it all comes down to Holland to sell it, which he does. I will say that the first act does take a while to get going. Like the entire first hour, I was enjoying the movie, but it wasn't feeling as epic as I thought it would be. But don't worry, it totally gets there. Patience. And this is a long movie. It's two and a half hours, and while it's never boring, I really did feel the length. I'll also say I didn't really buy Doctor Strange's motivation for helping Spider-Man out of this jam. Not that it couldn't have worked, but I just feel they didn't sell it all that well. Overall, I found the CGI to be pretty strong, though there were a couple of moments here or there that didn't look amazing. And one issue that I had was a bit of an overuse of jokes. We all know that the MCU loves its humor and that Spidey is a quipper. And don't get me wrong, I got a number of good laughs in this movie. But there were certain moments where something heavy happens and they just sort of jump to a joke, which kind of robs the scene of its emotional impact. I found that a little frustrating. I also didn't love the implications of the mid credit scene, but that's not a big deal. And I have to say, this movie has a lot going on. There are a lot of characters, though it's not like an endgame situation. But I thought the flick did a really good job of balancing it all. And I'll say this, I loved the ending. It was touching, it was bittersweet, and I thought it fit this movie and the trilogy really, really well. Spider-Man No Way Home is not without its problems, but overall, I thought it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing it again. And this is something I've been saying for a while now, but it's still true. If you live in a place where you're able to go to the movie theater and you feel comfortable going to the movie theaters, I would say check this out on the big screen because it'll really benefit from it. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to give Spider-Man No Way Home. And I think I'm going to give Spider-Man No Way Home a... Come on! I stayed up all night dying my underwear! Out of 10. So now, I want to know, have you seen Spider-Man No Way Home? What did you think about it? Who's your favorite Spider-Man on screen of all time? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. Just helps the video reach more people, helps the channel grow. I appreciate it very much. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.